So finally, the most secure custom room is now updated with the most awaited update from Google. This one is Graphene OS and I'm talking about this latest version based on QPR1 Android 16. And many users were wondering how the things will change after Material U Expressive, Material Expressive UI with Android 16 QPR1 that is introduced. And also quite exciting to see how Lineage OS will unfold after installing this thing. For now, this is Graphene OS and as you know that Graphene OS has three versions, Stable, Beta and Alpha. The one I'm using right now is the Alpha update which is based on QPR1 for many Pixel devices. It supports by default and for other devices, I guess it's not available. So we're a Pixel device user and still looking forward to a de-googled edition, this one is here for you. App Drawer has a change. If you're able to notice, the blur has been introduced in this case. All these things I'm showing you right now are actually by default and no tweaks made by me so far. If you see the quick settings panel, which was actually quite exciting to see how the things will change after the latest material expressive UI and as expectedly, we have a new change in the quick settings panel. No more dark or black kind of quick settings panel. It's a simple default which you get in Google Pixel devices and obviously any custom ROM. If you move on to the other features which are specific to Graphene OS or you can say a de-Googled OS like Sandbox, Google Play environment, it is still there. So no issues with that, no compromises with that. Everything is available. I haven't installed that, but if you want, you can definitely. It's totally, it's completely up to you. Including this thing, you'll see new app info UI so you can archive the apps and so on. Also, it brings you the ability to use some other things like storage scopes, etc. All the things, uh, minor UI changes and so on, everything is already included in this case. And if you're looking forward to storage scopes, it's there. For example, if I move on here, we have the storage scopes option available. So you can enable the storage scopes with, will make, uh, basically if you enable the storage scope, the app will think that it has all the permissions which you have, which you have given actually, but in reality, the permissions are not there. And it's a very useful thing. You can read more about storage scopes later on on Google, search for it and you'll find exact information regarding that. Settings UI also has a change. If you're able to notice, the settings UI has very colorful icons which you get by default in a latest Android version, Android 16 QPR1. The new status bar icons are here and if you enable or disable the battery percentage, you will see some changes. It, it is kind of really similar to iOS and things are quite exciting with this new update. We also have a new volume panel included in this case. The volume panel is actually, uh, it's okay, but the animations to switch between vibrate, silent mode and the ring mode seems to be quite exciting in this case. Everything else is just kind of similar. Like as we just told you, Graphene is available for the Google Pixel devices by default, but Many users actually look forward to this custom room by, by chance if it is available for your device, but unfortunately it is not. Sound and vibration section, it also relies similar to like we have in Google Pixel devices or basically the latest Android 16 stock update. The camera app is a different one as you already know. It does not have the Aperture camera pre-installed although, but it has the Graphene OS camera which is also kind of similar to Aperture camera. Graphene OS camera is also available on Google Play Store for free in case you don't know. So. You can install this thing on other devices also without any porting and so on. Search for it and you'll find it easily. One more thing which I found is Linux terminal is already included. If you want to use it, you can. If you don't want to use it, you can skip this thing. It's not enabled by default. You just have to move to settings, search for it. You'll find it, turn on, and then you have to install this thing from here and then you'll be able to use it on a device. What about security and privacy? We are talking about Graphene OS and if we don't talk about security and privacy, that's not good. Simply move on to these options, you will find scramble pin layout, which is good. We also have all these options which you were expecting. And including this thing, we also have the option for Duress password. We also have the option for other security and privacy features, which you get by default. Same, go, same goes with exploit protection that brings you the ability to use this USB-C port so you can further customize it. A lot more other things. The latest update of Graphene OS is one of the most exciting updates in a very, very long time. If you're wondering about the most security focused, most privacy focused custom ROM, it's finally updated to QPR1. What are your thoughts about it? Let me know in the comments below. This is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like and I will see you in the next one.